So here's the answer to yesterday's question of the day on the 26th. It dealt with Hashimoto's and Graves' disease. Hopefully it will be the first of many question of the days. The question stated, a patient comes in with signs of cachexia, basically wasting away and getting skinnier, agitated palpitations, and exophthalmos. Exophthalmos is basically when a patient comes in and they have very large eyes. So the choices basically are between Hashi and Graves and hypo and hyperthyroidism and our hormones. So let's discuss those. Hashimoto's and Graves are both autoimmune disorders. What is autoimmune? It means it involves an antibody attacking ourselves. Where is it going to be attacking? At the level of the thyroid gland. So let's discuss the hormones very quickly. Hypothalamus, we have TRH and then we have TSH. What part of the pituitary? the anterior portion and then we have our thyroid hormones T3 and T4 over here the same thing as well TRH TSH and T3 and T4 triiodothyronine tetraiodothyronine and T4 is also known as thyroxine how do I remember that there's four points at the end of an X so T4 is thyroxine the question is, how is the antibody doing a different effect in Hashimoto's and Graves? In Hashimoto's, the antibody attaches and destroys the thyroid gland. So what's going to happen in T3 and T4 levels? They are going to decrease. Over in Graves, it attaches, but it stimulates the thyroid gland. So what's going to happen to these levels? They are going to increase. So if this is increasing, it's going to go back, exert what we call negative effect to decrease and decrease over here if this is going down then it's going to go back up and it's still called negative feedback and it's going to cause this to increase and cause this to increase so this doesn't mean inhibit it just means do the opposite thing you want to know how I remember this pretend you went to McDonald's because you guys know by now how much I love my food there's your Mickey D arch and you order breakfast and there's your hash brown so Hashimoto's is you take the hash brown and you just smash that hash brown. It's very fragile. Just like smashing the thyroid, which is going to cause that decrease right there. If you want one for Graves too, picture somebody just there. They're lying in the grave. And just like a uh, ligand when it goes and then it binds to its receptor, it's going to activate or stimulate that receptor. Let's go back to the question. So why does the patient have these symptoms? It's because their T3 and T4 levels are elevated. Hyperthyroidism, meaning things are very active. So if it's hyper, we can get rid of all the hypo ones. That's gone, that's gone, that's gone. So the question is, is it Graves or is it going to be Hashimoto's? Well, we said hash, you're going to smash everything, so things are going to decrease. So it can't be Hashimoto so those are gone leaving us with two choices here so now we go down to the hormones well we said uh, if T3 and T4 are gonna go up then the other two are gonna go down TRH and TSH so low TRH and TSH so the answer will be E one last thing to mention these are called primary diseases because anything at the thyroid gland is primary the pituitary is secondary and the hypothalamus is tertiary so three two one this would be primary hypothyroidism and this would be primary hyperthyroidism make sure to go to my website where you can reach the question of the day or you can reach it on the sidebar as you can see some people have already voted but place your vote and we can see if you're right or wrong tomorrow to stay up to date on the questions of the day, join the Facebook page or my YouTube and you can find it over here and you can also take the question over here as well too. Thank you and take care.